Okay, so what we're going to do here is take a CR3 raw file that would come out of a Canon EOS RP, turn it into a DNG file so that we can then end up using it in Lightroom to produce a JPEG. So, and for instance, today I was out and shot some real estate photos for a client. And what we ended up using here, pull these up. This was the raw file. This, uh, without any editing, uh, got a lot of contrast, but basically we were at midday shooting this. This is what I came up with. This is after being edited in Lightroom. So you can see here, we'll go back to the, uh, obviously it's darker there. It's a little off balance, a little askew, um, still a little askew, but basically the uh, colors, everything, It's uh, there's no highlights, no real low lights. Everything's kind of nice and smooth, and that's what we ended up giving the client. Now, before we can get to this uh, JPEG, and let me just go ahead and get rid of that, and here we were, again, the Can Canon EOS RP puts out CR3 files, not the old CR2 files like the T3i, T7i, those cameras so therefore you do have to convert these right now at least as far as I know you've got to be able to convert those before you can use them in Lightroom so let's go ahead and get rid of these get rid of these well let's just go ahead and show you some of these shots I got this afternoon uh, there's another one outside there's another one well there we go handles the low lights very well and again inside I basically just point the flash to the ceiling it's on top of the camera and it oh, I didn't realize I'm right there Oh, wow. And uh, basically put it on full power and hit it. And Lightroom, you just have to pull down or pull up the shadows, pull down the uh, the highlights a little bit. And this is uh, some of the shots we came up with to this afternoon. Just give you an opportunity here to look at these. These came out of the Canon EOS RP with just a flash sitting on top of it. And there was not a lot of editing to do with these. It was a nice house, nice and clean, very photogenic. And uh, there we go. The outside's nice, rich greens, nice, rich colors there. And there we go. So at any rate, so that's what you can get out of the uh, Canon EOS RP. But you've got to get this uh, CR3 file converted first. So what we do here is um, you can just Google this. Uh, I put in Adobe DNG Converter. It is free. comes up here. You can go ahead and hit this. Um, takes you here, all this right here. But basically, if you've got a Windows or you've got a Mac, this is what you do, and you just hit this. You download it. I'm not going to show you how to open it up and do all that. That's there, there are other videos out there. But I'm just telling you where to go to get it. Uh, just Google Adobe DNG converter or digital negative converter and uh, what you end up with is this okay very simple to use um, I didn't change any settings on this thing um, all you do is if you have a folder for instance uh, I have a folder it's just called new folder oh, there it is right there we'll grab this we will select and what it's going to do then, and it's the save in the same location. So I've got CR3s in that folder. Let me go ahead and pull that folder up here. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, so we've got some CR3s. I'll just leave it right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to select. We've already selected that folder. And we're just going to go ahead and convert. And it will. And there they are. You see how quick that was? Exit. Now they're converted, so let's go ahead and the types. There we go. So literally, uh, I always keep copies on my SD card, but uh, these will just go to the trash, and then boom, we've got our D and G files. These are then able to be imported into Lightroom, and then you can uh, take care of But just look how good these came out, just straight out of the camera. Again, sharpening needs to be adjusted. There certainly needs to be some adjustments done, um, but that's what we come up with. And then here I'm going to show you again the actually, whoops, let's uh, get that out of there. Uh, once again, we'll look at a few of those, and you can see what we did come up with on these. So hopefully that home will sell very quickly. It was very clean, looked very nice. And again, these are the kind of photos you want to come up with. So... There we go, but you got to get those converted in the first place. So, again, 
that's the Adobe DNG converter. So there we go.